right, in this video, this is Systems of Equations series video number eight, and we're going to look at a word problem now. This one involves money and quantity, so some dollar amount and some number of items. Patricia held a bake sale where she sold 78 baked goods consisting of brownies and cupcakes. Each brownie cost $1.25 and each cupcake cost $2.75. She made a total of $162 from the bake sale. How many of each item did she sell? Now we know there's a total of 78 baked goods consisting of brownies and cupcakes, but we don't know how many of each. So I'm going to write B plus C is equal to 78. This represents the number of brownies plus the number of cupcakes, and that's going to be equal to 78 baked goods. This is our first equation in our system of equations. Now let's form another one. Each brownie costs $1.25. Since B is the number of brownies, we can take $1.25 and multiply it by the number of brownies to figure out how much money she made off of just the brownies. Plus, we take the cost for each cupcake. Each cupcake costs $2.75. So if we take $2.75 times the number of cupcakes, which we called C, these two dollar amounts should total to $162. Now we have our two equations in our system of equations. Earlier in the series, we looked at the elimination method. The elimination method is perfect for this problem. As a matter of fact, we had another video, video number six, and then video number seven. So there's three videos you can check out before tackling the rest of this problem right here. However, I'm going to apply the elimination method because the B's are lined up, the C's are lined up, the equals are lined up, and we have our constants over here. It does not matter which variable we get rid of, but I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1.25. And by us doing this on both sides times a negative 1.25, this will allow us to get rid of the B's, to eliminate the B's. So applying the distributive property here, negative 1.25 times B is negative 1.25B. Negative 1.25 times C is minus 1.25C. This is equal to, now let's multiply 78 times negative 1.25. And I'm gonna make a little bit of room here. And multiplying these together, we will get negative 97.5. Just grab a calculator there, or you can crunch that out, pencil and paper. Now, there's no need to change this second equation. Let's just go ahead and bring this on over, 1.25b plus the 2.75c, and this is equal to 162. Now that we have done this, we can cancel out the b's. We can eliminate the b's, the elimination method. Let's combine these C's, be careful with your signs. Negative 1.25C plus 2.75C is equal to a positive 1.5C. Bring down our equals, and now let's take negative 97.5 and let's add 162, since this 162 is understood to be positive. Doing that will give us a total of 64.5. Now our final step here, we can divide by 1.5 on both sides to get the C by itself. And if we take 64.5 divided by 1.5, we will get C is equal to 43. This is how many cupcakes Patricia sold. Now we need to figure out how many brownies she sold. Well, we know she had 78 goods in all, so let's just take the 78 this is what B is equal to. The number of brownies is gonna be 78 total baked goods minus the 43 cupcakes. This will give us a total of 35 brownies. And we can quickly check our work. And I'm gonna use a calculator here just to quickly check. So looking at this first equation, we got brownies plus cupcakes equals 78. The brownies was 35. There's 35 brownies in all and the 43 cupcakes for a total of 78 baked goods. We know the brownies cost $1.25, so let's take $1.25 times the number of brownies, which we said was 35, and we can go ahead and press equal here, or you could keep on adding, but that number right there tells you how much she made off of just the brownies. Let's take the $2.75 now, and let's multiply that by the number of cupcakes she sold, which was 43 cupcakes. She made a total of $118.25 off the cupcakes, 
And if we add those two numbers together, the 118.25 plus 43.75, let's see what we get. Hopefully we will get $162, which matches the word problem. And there you have it, a word problem involving a system of equations dealing with money and quantity. In future videos, we'll look at distance rate time and several other various types of very common word problems with systems of equations. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.